Hello, uh, I'm Mocha and I'm kind of sick. I've been sick for like two days, but that's not the point. I'm bored, so let's start Nuzlocke. They, um, my mom told me, go, go, go to the door. Someone's here, and it, it's my first day of school, I guess. And I was like, oh, cool. That's that's amazing, I guess. And oh, hey, uh, so, someone's at the door. Uh, who the heck could that be? This is actually my second playthrough, so nothing's really a surprise at this point unless I get a new shiny that I don't have. Let's hope for when this old man just busts into my house and I'm like, what? And he's like, are you Mocha? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, okay, cool, because you're coming to school with me. And I was like, what the? Turns out the old geezer's name is Dr. Sorry, pff, Mr. Clavel of the Naranja Academy, and I was like, wow, that's that's a fancy name, but Naranja sounds like orange, and I don't like it. Mom just absolutely snatches the bag away from him. I don't know what's wrong with him. And she's like, oh my god, you're so nice. You should have a cup of tea. And I was like, oh, so you're just gonna send me upstairs while you type guys go off screen? Wow, how suspicious. But then they're actually having tea. And um, I was kind of surprised. A couple? Wait, 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 wait. I go upstairs and achieve my drip. Look so amazing is what I would say if I didn't look like I was a first grader going to kindergarten because I was stupid and said one plus one was eleven. So I go back downstairs where I hear a lot of scrambling to put stuff back. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm gonna go check that out. Uh, and I ran into a wall like the NPC that I am. And they wouldn't let me leave. And I was like, you think I want to see that? And then they're having a cup of tea. And I was like, huh. Oh, okay. This is a kid's game after all, I thought. Old Clavel's all like, oh, wow, well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible, I forgot something, please follow me, Master Mocha. And I was like, wow, I didn't know I was royalty around here, I guess word must have spread fast about my whole two subscribers I got yesterday. And God, I was thinking, what does my mom do for a living to get a house like this? I mean, I don't know where she sleeps at all, but still, like, oh my Oh, I, I accidentally yawned. Anyways, he threat sends out my three starters, and they're all equally amazing, except for Sprigatito, because I don't like how cat-like it is, even though everything else is seemingly the same. We have Grass Cat, Water Duck, and Fire Crocodile. And obviously, I was like, wow, these guys are amazing. But uh, let's have a walk with them, and this time... Blackley was following me the most. He, he runs fast, and I was like, oh, that's perfect. No more having to wait two minutes for my cro crocodile to, like, walk two inches towards me. The crocodile kept trying to tempt me for some reason. He was like, look at me, look at me. See, I'm amazing. And I was like, no. No, this is Quaxley's time. Anyways, I finally get to the house, and oh my god, his hair is beautiful. And then the cat, like, does some cool grassing, and I was like, oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. And then the Fue Coco's just like... Bad at you. Very accurate representation of me right now. <laughs> and then I was like, who's that? I, I already know who it is. I don't know why I said that. Okay, hear me out, just give me a minute. Well, Amina says nothing, but I'm assuming she's older than me because says she's supposed to be like the late teens, and I'm, I'm, I'm younger than late teens, so I don't think that as well. <laughs>
it and then quickly he's like, no, don't eat that. You're gonna like it. It's terrible. And he's like, okay. Of course, I think it's funny. And I was like, yeah, that is funny. So, um, I've already picked Fue Coco as my last one. So, thanks, you know, like, ooh. It's like 10 p.m. right now. Maybe I should go to it. But since I already have Fue Coco, I was like, you know what? Let, let's pick, um, uh, let's pick, um, the, the duck. Because I don't like the grass cat at all. I mean, its eyes are red and it reminds me of weed and... As a person who lives in the States, it's kind of just constantly reminded. So, I attained my true drip, go cow. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's cringe. Everything I do is cringe. But, uh, anyways. I put on some drip, so I didn't look like a big baby. And I realized, oh, I look like a weak kid. Ugh. After doing that, I picked my water duck. And just like that, we are best friends. And I named him Hawks because he has crazy hair. And it reminds me of a mohawk. Even though it's like a pompadour or something. And look how big he is on your shoulder. Anyways, later now I was like, oh my god, you picked the duck? I knew it, he knew you picked the duck. You guys are so amazing, I can't wait to beat the living crap out of you when you're at like your third gym and you're under level. Because you never um, do Nuzlocks. Actually, my last Nuzlocke, I forgot the most important thing about Nuzlocke is grinding so you don't get swept at the first battle with Charon at a school. And I, and I lost twice. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna forget that. So, I, after reminding myself that, I tried, I tried to run away from my mom. I was pretty scared. I was like, that was not gonna go wrong. I tried to get out of there, but apparently, dummy me does not know how to swim. So, I, I was forced to go battle my mom. After what felt like forever, I finally defeated a crocodile pepper. Even though it was like three turns. And she was like, Oh my god! You've got so much potential. I bet you could even like beat the strongest person in the world even though you got this duck like two minutes ago. Mr. Clavel's all like, Oh, oh yes, I, I, those two are a pretty good duo. I guess she got some like fetish for battling. She got too carried away, and I have to agree, she gets way too carried away. All, literally all the time. And wow, this has got to be one of the best package deals. My mom even gives me a sandwich on my way out. Amazing.
After that, she hands me some money and I'm on my way out to Route 1 to do the classic go catch a Pokemon while the person's watching me two feet away catch a Pokemon. Namara shows me the entire place and I kind of admire how well this Pokemon game looks. Like people always complain about everything bad about it, but they're only looking for the bad, they're never looking at the good things. After catching a few mons, I follow Nimona and we were supposed to go to the lighthouse together. Can't exactly remember why. I think she wanted to show me the view. And she wanted to see my collection of Pokemon so far, but I went AFK. And then a beast just absolutely yells at the top of its lungs. I don't even know what idea I had in mind, but it totally couldn't be that gigantic lizard legendary that was on the box art, right? Right? The noise was actually quite interesting, and I don't know, it says Gyo Gyao, so I get a little curious and look over the ledge of the cliff that was conveniently broken. It doesn't really seem safe for a place that's literally a few feet away from multiple houses and a neighborhood. Just kidding. Um, actually, phones save you in this game, and they like come out your pocket, and you grab onto it like it's a glider from Fortnite, which makes absolutely no sense how my arms did not tear off. I guess our little friend here was injured and is stuck on the beach, and now we gotta play a guessing game of what do we give to the lizard? To be honest, I'd rather give him my phone than my new sandwich that my mom gave me. But you know, the game's being a butt, so I, you know, here, it's a revive, so you don't die, I guess? Which makes more sense, but even that won't help, so I had to give him a sandwich. My sandwich that my mom made me. And uh, I'm not sure how the sandwich would help, but I was like, here you go, um, take this sandwich that my mom gave me. And he sniffs it. And I don't know what it smelled like, but he ate that thing in like two bites. I don't know what he's chewing on because he has no teeth though. And look, he's all better and he's a dog now. And we start following him and then just. Out of nowhere, something happens. And oh, it's a cutscene, so it must be pretty important. And oh, and he just like absolutely Super Saiyan transforms. And oh my god, what did my mom put into that sandwich? Like t 20 pounds of steroids? That could have been me! Guess we'll follow this Pokemon that's a complete stranger to me into a cave, cause that's not any way suspicious. And he's totally impatient, look, he's staring at me, waiting. Like, bro, you gonna gum or what? I just saved your life, come on, let's go. And I follow him, and he's actually kinda looking cute, like he's a cute lizard and he's about to get domesticated from all the affection I'm gonna show him in the like next hours that I'm gonna use him. Actually, no, I don't get to use him yet, do I? That'd be too overpowered, wouldn't it? Anyways, while we're going through the cave, look, it's Nimona and she's like, yeah, Mocha, get up here. I just really yelled my name. And that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe, because part two will be kind of moving out pretty soon, since I can't post anything up to 15 minutes.